I don't know how much confirmation y'all need to realize that Jaguar Wright is a liar who just be lying about anything, but I got some tea for y'all. So recently, I made a post about Jaguar, and I basically called her out for basically trying to exploit Legina, the girl who is allegedly saying that she is Aaliyah's daughter. You can see that Jaguar is trying to exploit her and take advantage because she said that she's going to bring her to Dallas and they're going to do a DNA test and um, she's going to get a therapist for Legina and they're going to do all of this on Dalladelphia fake ass TV network. So this got me heated because it's just like I hate seeing people getting taken advantage of. So I basically said something to Jaguar on my community page and then after that a lady by the name of Toya Gaines came under that post and she told me that she was Rosie Gaines daughter Rosie Gaines is a famous singer who sung with Prince and she was also in Prince's band and we started talking and she told me a bunch of stuff about Jaguar and let me tell y'all the tea is hot and it just shows that Jaguar really lies about everything. You cannot believe a word that comes out of this lady's mouth. So I'm just going to share these receipts with y'all because I feel like Jaguar needs to be put on blast because she's sitting up here trying to destroy people's legacies and she's trying to destroy people's lives all for clout. And I'm just sick of seeing it. And, and people just let her get away with it. But anyway, let me show you guys the receipts that I have. <clears throat> I'm new to StreamYard, y'all, so don't judge me. I'm learning everything as I go. But right now, I'm going to my Instagram page so y'all can see these DMs between me and Toya. Okay. <clears throat> so Toya said, hey. I said, hey, just now seeing your message. Man, I am so sorry for everything that you went through with Jaguar. She is an agent of chaos who needs to be stopped. I usually don't say anything about her antics, and I might make a video here and there, but that whole thing got me triggered because you can see that she's trying to prey on the weak, and I don't like that. But whatever info you can give me about her, I will gladly expose her because she needs to be put on full blast for her nonsense. You don't mess with people's children. That's just a hard line that you don't cross. And I can only imagine how you feel hearing her talk about your family. I would want to pull up too. So do you guys remember when Jaguar Wright went on Nosy Ho's channel? And she was talking about how um, Raphael Sadiq was trying to groom a 12-year-old boy. That 12-year-old boy was Toya's son. But the thing is, the whole story was a bold-faced lie who lies about a 12 year old boy getting groomed i just want somebody to answer that for me because that's just ridiculous why would you do that okay so toya said back yes girl but she has nothing to lose i have my family legacy to protect because i am the voice for my mother since she was battling her own mental illness and Jaguar thought I was going to say nothing because of that. So I'm about to send you everything and I respect your content as you can see. I wasn't reaching out to YouTubers, but I did contact Storm because it started on his show in Real Life Network and I told them they should not just allow people on their platform to say things without fact checking first because it affects other people's lives and it's not a game. And that's very true. Like Jaguar, when you say stuff about people, do you realize that these people got lives too and they got to go out into the world and you sitting up there trying to blast them over lies and you just don't even care about what you're saying about these people? Why would you say that somebody's child got groomed? Do you know how embarrassing that could be for a, a child? But of course, Jaguar isn't going to care because she don't even care about herself and her own life. So why would she care about somebody else's? But it's still messed up that she would go that far 
and lie on somebody's child just to say she has an exclusive. And I'll show you guys that video too. Um, okay, so Toya says, these are the inboxes I sent her she never responded to. I don't think I got that. And hold on, I'm about to send you early conversations we had before so you can see this. So I'm not trying to dox nobody, so I'm going to scroll right on past that. Um, she said, I just wanted you to see the date. This is from 2015. Then Toya sent me two videos of Jaguar. So do y'all remember when Jaguar Wright was talking about Tevin Campbell and she was basically saying um, that she was rooting for him and she was talking about um, his case when he got arrested for prostitution and he was on drugs and everything. She said that she knew all of this information because she got it from Toya. This is what she said, which is false. Toya never said anything like that because Toya was a child when she knew Tevin. She was only 11 years old. Hold on. And I got the proof of that too. Hold on. I'm going to go back to my community page. But basically, Jaguar said one thing on Real Life Street Stars, but then said a whole other thing on Storm on Rose show. She said that she never said that Toya told her anything. So which one is it? It's like you lie so much that you can't even keep up with your lies, girl. It's a whole mess. <clears throat> But this is what Toya said about Tevin Campbell. I'm going to go back to my community page where we first started having conversations. Um, okay. It's just all too much, honey. It's all too much. Jaguar just be out here lying for no damn reason. Okay. So I'm going to go back to... This is my community page where I basically called out Jaguar for trying to exploit Legina. And this is where me and Toya started talking. And this is what Toya said about Tevin. Hold on, let me find it. Okay. My mother is Rosie Gaines. If you do not know who she is, she sang Diamonds and Pearls with Prince. She was in his band and she had her own solo career also. So I met Jaguar at an event that was given for my mom. My mom herself is dealing with mental health illness and Jaguar was there singing background for my aunt Tyra Kemp's performance in 2015. <clears throat> I was around Jaguar for about three months tops. Three months tops because Dwayne Wiggins from Tony Tony Tone asked me to sing back up for Jag at a gig he got her at Yozy's in the Bay Area and I did because she did for my mom's event and just from that she got on that platform Real Life Productions and told the world she knows about Tevin Campbell because I'm her sister and she was rooting for him when I didn't know this woman when I was at Paisley Park I was 11 when I became his friend and I told her, oh, I was 11 when I became his friend and I told her he wasn't involved in drugs or prostitution. His mom was always there and his little brother, but she lied. This is just another thing that Jaguar is lying about. I mean, what's new for real? Okay. So I'm going to go back to Instagram chats now. You know what? I'm going to show you guys the video where she is just lying through her teeth. Let me get the video first. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to figure out this thing. First, I'm going to show you all the storm video. So you can see that she said that Toya never told her anything about Tevin. Just making stuff up. So now I'm going to show you guys the video with Storm 
where Jaguar is basically saying that Toya did not tell her these things. She's basically going off of what she heard in the media. That's all she's doing. But Toya never told her anything. Okay, here we go. Boys are just like me and me, or both. Well, I don't know. I wasn't around for that. All I heard was that a, a, a man had picked him up. And if a man picked him up, nine times out of ten is Hollywood. It was a it, it was a businessman. Yeah. Or maybe somebody from one of the studios you can't who didn't get a chance shit. to get at him when he Why was young just and tender shit, and wanted to have a second chance. Sense. You know what I mean? It could have been any any of those guys. But the thing is, my sister Latoya didn't tell me that. She told you that herself. She did. I spoke to her this morning. I spoke to her this morning and she verified this shit. And she said, look, when I was around Tevin, you know, things were good. And by the time his mama had another baby and, and he was a teenager, he got close to being grown and aging out pretty much. She said, I don't know. I'm, I, you know, I don't know what exactly drove him to the drugs. Allegedly. Keyword. But she don't he, know. Nobody was around for that. <clears throat> after, after he left Paisley Park, don't nobody really know what happened. Which is Prince's house, right? Paisley Park? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So then, why you know, are you he saying this? Bridge. He was. Why? He was. So Mr. Then... He was Mr. Graffiti Bridge. Like he was. You know, and. But my thing is, how does a young man who made that much money, for so many people, end up being left to trick on the streets? So then, why are you saying something different on another platform, Jaguar? Please make it make sense. Can somebody make it make sense, please? Because it don't make none. And not at all. But I'm going to show you guys that, too. Hold on. Let me just pull it up because I have the receipts. Thank you very much. You got to watch what you say out here. Got to keep up with your lies, Jaguar. Just be saying anything. Just be saying anything. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to. I'm getting the receipts right now. Just be saying anything, getting yourself all caught up. All right, um, back to Streamyard. Now we're gonna pull this up. Okay, here we go, guys. Here's the receipt. Stuff like that would see him from time to time, but we didn't have a friendship. It, it. You didn't have it just a friendship, me though, because. I knew everything that was happening to him because he was with Latoya and Latoya knew everything. No, you didn't. And I would just sit there like, oh man, I hope he wins. I hope he wins. I hope he wins. And then he disappeared. And then people just Latoya said that she was 11 it's, it's, while she was in Paisley up. Park. Can you have come out back then? Up. Huh? Can you have come out back then? Like right now we have like the little Nas X's. The, make um, it make sense. I forgot the guy. You be lying. Frank Ocean. Nice. Frank Ocean. No. Getting caught yeah, up that, in your damn It's almost lies, detrimental girl. to your career. He if. couldn't have. Okay. That was exhibit A. Now I have more receipts for y'all. Okay. Now how about that? Just be lying through your goddamn teeth. Can't can't even keep up with your lies. And you end up getting caught up. Anybody can do this and see that your stories just don't add up. It's a shame now because people actually believe your lies. People actually support this lady. And I, I just don't understand why. She's a pathological liar, and it's so obvious. If you support this lady, if you give this lady your money, then I really feel bad for you. Okay. Back on StreamYard. How is, what am I trying to do right now? Okay, we're going back to, to the receipts. Now, it's certain receipts that I can't show y'all all the way. I got to block out certain names and everything just out of respect. For people's families because that's what you do you don't blast people so <clears throat> i'm gonna have to come back let me see okay this is toya the crazy thing is my kids are five years apart 
bitch, if you know so much about us, you should know my autistic son has no musical ability at all. It's my baby boy that does, and he is 18 now. He was so pissed off when he saw that video. I wanted to fuck her all the way up. Then she had the nerve to speak on my mother's royalties with Prince, and she has never in life had one conversation, not even over the phone with my mother. She's gone off media and what happened with Prince's estate. But since she was around me, she knows everything. Prince was alive and well when I met Jaguar, and he helped my mother until his last breath, period. That bitch knows nothing. Now you talking about people's pockets, Jaguar? Like, what's up with you? Maybe if you worried about your own pockets, you wouldn't be living in your car. Like, that is ridiculous, girl. Like, please get a life. Get a life. It's, it's giving obsessed. It really is. Wow. And you would think because Jaguar has an autistic son that maybe, you know, she wouldn't talk about this lady's son the way that she did. But she just really don't care. It's amazing to me. And very sad. But Jaguar, you want to mess around? And mess with the wrong person. That's what you're going to do. And it's not going to be nice. It's not. <clears throat> um, thank you. I appreciate it so much. And make sure you watch the storm video. She tells on herself. For her to come back two years later and forget. is hilarious to me. She do so much content. She, content, she, forgets, she forgets the shit that she says. Like the car situation, if the damn car blew up at the strip mall and caught fire and blew a hole in the store, then how did it end up on the side of the highway, girl? Someone drove it on fire there? Make it make sense, please. It don't make sense because she lying. This is to real life production. Email, they never responded, but I made sure I let them know and it's time stamped and documented. So when I do call a lawyer, I have receipts and it's sad because the platforms just wants the views because that's money to them. Yep. Jaguar don't realize that she, as much as she's using people, she's getting used too for clicks and views. That's the only reason why people want to be close to her is to get clicks and views on their content that's it she's good for content because she's outrageous it's like watching a train wreck everybody wants to see a train wreck everybody and that's what jaguar is okay um let me see And I said to her, I asked her, and when you were around Jag, was she as crazy as she is now? Because, child, she is a mess. How did she even make it as far as she did? She seems like such a liability. And the answer to that was shocking. Oh, she dropped some tea. She definitely dropped some tea. So I basically asked Toya, was Jag always this crazy? Like, how was she when you were around her? And how did she even make it as far as she did in the music industry? Because she seems like a liability. And this was Toya's answer. And it was very, very juicy. Okay. And by the way, I have the names linked out because I'm not trying to expose nobody except for Jaguar on this channel. I'm not ruining no happy homes, none of that. But Jaguar knows what the hell she did. But anyway, like I was saying, but Toya said she stood in her own way and made a mess of everything for herself. I met her because Blank brought her to the Bay Area to try to rekindle her career. He put a band together for her and the band had huge musicians in it like Levy Caesar. He used he used to be in the band with Prince and my mom. She had the guy who played drums for Earth, Wind, and Fire playing the drums for her. And her guitar player was playing with a big rock band. She was always hitting on the guitar player. But the thing is, she was fucking Blink. And then she was staying in a compound that belonged to Blink called Mind Seed in Oakland. But Blink had a fiance. And I don't know why Jaguar 
thought it was a good idea to bring another man where she was put up by the man she was fucking and was helping her and fuck and fucking where she was staying. But after that, she got sent home. I was renting a house from Blank in the Hayward Hills with my sons at the time. And he asked me to sing background for her show. So <laughs> Jaguar likes to talk about everybody's vagina. But really, she was out here slaying the vagina everywhere, according to Toya. So hold on. Let me exit out of here and go back to the Instagram messages. Hold up. Because there's more. So I skipped some of the messages with names in it. And we're continuing our conversation. And Toya says, Yes, but what's crazy is she admits that she's a slut and says it's okay because she's a rock star. (laughs) That sounds like something Jaguar would say. Um, I said, oh my God, a rock star where in her damn mind? So Toya says, like, girl, if you were dating Common and you went to his house, got in his bed and woke up with his in your face, how the F was that a uh, attempt? Y'all can read. Bitch, we grown. You know what time it is. And your, ad, your married ass was fucking on your first tour immediately with Talib Kweli and Lord knows who else. And you was bringing the girls for the other band members, but it was them that was wilding out. Girl, stop talking shit when you participated. And admitted it. <sighs> Woo. It's a lot, y'all. It's a lot. It's a lot. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. So Toya basically says she is a lot. And she claims everyone as family as soon as she meets them to try to get close and pry so she can do the shit she is doing right now. As you can see, I let her know, bitch, about mine over here. I will fuck you up. Fuck this social media shit. I will forget who I am about mine, and it will be on and popping. She told me and my aunt Tyra Kemp she was schizophrenic, and I believe her. And I said, I don't blame you. We don't talk about kids or mothers now, child, or family, period. She going to fuck around and find out one of these days. I'm telling you. So apparently Jaguar admitted to Toya's aunt that she was schizophrenic. So that says it all right there. I don't think people go around telling people that they schizophrenic if they not. So make that make sense. Jaguar, if you are schizophrenic, then you need to get on your meds and stay on your meds and stay off of YouTube. Because it's ruining your life. Toya also said she even tried to imply I was touched in the industry on one of her early videos some years ago. I got on her helmet because that never happened. I'm my mom's only child. I wasn't allowed to even be in the industry as a minor. Now, I did do some things on big projects. But with my mom being present and for my mom, I even got to open the Glam Slam in Minneapolis with my mom I was in clubs and shit with my mom so I told her what the fuck you talking about that shit didn't happen to me don't try to summer walk walk or me so I'm gonna show y'all the reason why I even wanted to do this whole video on Jaguar because Jaguar is just out here talking reckless about people's kids and like she needs to stop to have somebody lying on your kids is just ridiculous so i wanted to help toya get the word out that nobody touched her kids and jaguar you don't even know toya's mom you don't even really know her like that you was around her for three months and you go and you put this lady in some bullshit for what but hold on i'm going to show you this video that started it all about Raphael Sadiq. Hold on, let me find it, y'all. All All right, so I showed Toya this video. Toya didn't even know that this video was out there. 
She didn't even know that Jaguar was going from platform to platform telling this crazy ass story. And when she found out about this this video, she was very upset and as she should be cuz bitch you crazy talking about people's kids and saying that a mom tried to cover up the grooming of her own child like nah you dead ass wrong so just off of the strength a toya and her son and you lying on her son is the reason why i'm exposing your ass bitch and you deserve to be exposed period you need to be stopped and that's how i feel about it you don't come for people's kids you done already called cps on multiple um content creators and it's just like really like you really want to get hurt out here jaguar it's not cool you're going to end up getting hurt out here messing with the wrong person but let me show y'all this crazy ass video i feel like she was drunk or high or something in this damn video and she lucky that nosy ho deleted the damn live because i seen the whole live and jaguar was acting a goddamn fool on this video to do it on, on video exclusive 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 <laughs> crazy ass tasha gray put that out you have no idea what i'm about to tell you okay so just anyway, had called me one day and she was very upset no she her didn't son, her son youngest son is a child prodigy up. Making shit who I was going to mentor because he's fucking ridiculous. This is gro this is Rosie Gaines. Miss, I play eighty fucking instruments and sing you through the fucking floor. Grandson, her, her grandson got the gift. Mm. Now Raphael was supposed to be mentoring him, and Dwayne was supposed to be mentoring him because Tony told me. Tony, and new power generation of very close ties. Well, apparently, the mentoring part from Raphael's side went wrong. Latoya called me in one day and said, can you believe this fucking pussy just is, is grooming my son online? Can you believe this fucking pussy is fucking trying to fuck my son? Fucking Raphael Sadiq is a bitch. I'm like, yo, hold up, that's Ray. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Latoya Gaines told you that Raphael Sadiq was trying to molest yeah, he, line. he was supposed to be mentoring him, but he was asking him shit about if he liked girls and all of this shit. She showed me the motherfucking Instagram message. Now, I mean, not Instagram, the Facebook messenger that was going back and forth between her son and Raphael. How old was the son? How old was the son? At the time, baby boy was like 12. <gasps> Oh my god. So, when you <laughs> told me about it. Okay. So y'all seeing that shit, right? Crazy, right? Like who talks about somebody's goddamn child? We don't talk about kids over here, bitch. So you're getting exposed. You're getting exposed. I mean, how low can you go? How low can you go, Jaguar? It just, just don't make sense. <clears throat> Do I have anything else that I need to share with you guys? Let me see, child. And also, Toya said the last time she even seen jaguar was in 2015 so jaguar stop making shit up it's not a good look like you're always gonna get exposed for your lies your stories don't match up you be making shit up you get shit off a of lipstick alley and you take whatever experiences you had with your short time in the industry and you turn it into this fairy tale I mean, you just, you just going to lie about everybody. You got to give it up at some point. It's really not a good look. Your credibility is shot. 
to the roof. Nobody believes anything that you have to say anymore. You out here looking crazy. You out here looking dusty. You out here looking a mess. Like, girl, please go home. Like, what are you doing? What are you running from for real? That's what we want to know. What are you running from? Because you ain't running from Clive Davis. You're not running from Diddy. And you're not running from Jay-Z. Are you running from yourself? Is that what it is? You running from everything and everybody that you done done wrong? You cannot run from yourself, Jaguar. So get your life together. Please go get some therapy. Seek help. And the sad part about it is, I believed this shit in the beginning. But girl, mm -mm, not no more. I see through people like you, Jaguar. But this is the end of my life. This has been a crazy ass day. This is like my first exclusive, I guess, or whatever. So. This is exclusive, and yeah, I just had to come and share this with y'all because, like, I'm sick of Jaguar. I'm sick of seeing her on my goddamn timeline doing crazy stuff. I'm sure some people can relate. (sighs) All right, y'all, so that's it for me. I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.